durability and speed. All units, I say again, all units, we have reports of a hostile in your area. Monitoring for unusual activity. Unit lost. Unit lost. Any other patrols have eyes on the suspect? Over. Return into HQ. Search terminating. I'm here. So what now? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. Uh, miss? Alright, ha ha. Which one of you shits is calling me on a flip phone? It's a cryptophone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who the fuck is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on SIRS. And I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. Fine, we'll bite. No promises, though. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. Are we okay with this, Sabine? Bagley? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face, for example. And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. Problem. He's not here, and it looks like there was a fight. What should we do? SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. I'll have a go at it. At least not in the way we think.
that's done it. Now return to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. That appears to be our contact. Fuck me. Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. They've taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. Construction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry. While food contaminations happen from time to time, London has seen a sharp rise in E. coli, salmonella, and hysteria in recent years and many are pointing to government cutbacks in food standards monitoring. It looks like our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. Our contact's assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Albion? Shouldn't that be sirs? What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SIRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. Funny. What else do you have, Bags? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Bring it up, then. <coughs> I'm not who you think I am. <coughs> You're Malik, a SERS officer and a leaky fucking twat! That's, that's not me, I swear to God, please, please! Serves him right working for SERS, but we can't let a whistleblower get killed on our watch. Bagley, where's he at?
in here. Moving elsewhere. Easy, easy. I'm with DedSec. 
You called us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. We just saved you, dickhead. No, you've just damned us both. Look, um, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. Actually, you explain everything. My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. All right. Bagley will look at your shit. Just don't make me regret this. That I can't promise. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. Regular Snowden, isn't he? I'm curious enough to look into it. All right, one second. Okay, Bagley, check his intel, then organize a briefing. Attendance mandatory. 